So uh, thank you from me and DC. But now, DC, let's get right into it, man, without any, with, uh, any further ado. Saints minicamp, man, is it came and went, bro. You know, it started uh, past the last Tuesday, uh, ended on Thursday. Of course, the Saints shut it down early. I guess Sean Payton seen enough uh, after shutting it down. Uh, the, the, the Saints were able to make a few signings as well, bringing a few guys into the minicamp. Uh, Jamal Charles tried out. Tim Hightower came aboard. A few other notable names. DeMarco Murray, of course, declined to work out what? As, as well. So uh, very, very interesting news there as well. But before we get into more of the signings, give us some uh, breakdown on what happened at the Saints minicamp this time around. Well, the Saints minicamp, we had a, a strong showing, as you just stated, uh, obviously because they ended one day early. Uh, the linebackers definitely look good. Um, that's a lot of talk I was hearing. Marco Davis, uh, AJ Klein, and Alex Anzalone are, of course, projected to be the starters. And they all look good out there, man. Um, Taysom Hill, of course, looked pretty good uh, at times, kind of erratic. So that was some, some more, more talk because, you know, basically uh, the minicamp is basically just a bunch of passing. Ain't no touching. Uh, too much. Ain't no pads on. So um, you got Alvin Kamara looking fresh. He was out there making plays. Michael Thomas was missing in action. So that was uh, a lot of mystery involved in that. Um, we saw him one day on Monday. Uh, talk was he was walking to his car. He didn't look hurt or anything. Just never seen him anymore. As far as the mini camp, Cam Jordan wasn't there. Um, he had a, a baby, so Congratulations to Cam Jordan. Um, he missed mini camp through that, but everybody else seemed to, to fill in fine. Um, your guy, your number one cornerback, <laughs> what's his name? <laughs> Marcus Lattimore? No. <laughs> Can't crawl before you walk E. Yeah, that guy. <laughs> he actually had, he had an interception, man. He looked pretty good in coverage out there. It's going to be, a, I guess, a battle according to you, for him to keep his number two slot. Um, nobody was scoring on Marcus Lattimore, of course. So it's pretty much what you would expect, man. We still got a lot of guys, uh, well, not a lot of guys, but a few guys uh, coming back from injury, like Cameron Meredith. He was out there making cuts, looking exceptionally well. He's on schedule to be back for a training camp. And you had guys like Andrews Pete, of course, still not out there. Tyron Armstead, Looks fresh, man. Looks healthy. No, no tiredness. No limping around. No moping around. He looks 100. percent So that is that's amazing, man. And I think uh, with a combination of all the good news that I told you, as well as Mark Ingram finally showing up to uh, off-season team activities, and everybody looked happy about that. Um, all these things mixed together. The good news, of course, is probably why Sean Payton decided to end. Uh, ended, you know, that Thursday without actually going a full day. You know, they still had to go and have a meeting, of course, but they didn't. They weren't out there in the Louisiana heat dealing with all that humidity, so I'm sure they were probably happy about that because everything seems to be on schedule. Very good. Um, and indeed, it does look like everything is on schedule. Uh, the Saints, of course, you know, we're talking about the mini camp information here. Uh, DC's Still crossing our fingers with our rookie, though. I'm not hearing enough, uh, at least in the mini camp, about him. Well, you know, uh, like I said, man, we 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 is a lot of people agree with me out there that we are very we have a lot of depth at all the right places, uh, and also right. we we just the sports coma just released a new video depth chart. Uh, it's about five minute long. It breaks down. You got everybody on that sucker. A, a depth chart covering all of the uh, all of the Saints players. So you know it's five minutes. But if you haven't seen it, check it out. Uh, if you have, share it around. It's really it's really fun and interesting to see all of the players on the Saints entire roster in video form. It's pretty awesome. Uh, outside of that, a couple of little news uh, to go behind what DC was saying dealing with the camps. Terrence uh, West, former Baltimore back, Terrence West officially signed with the Saints. Of course, the Saints didn't sign Jamal Charles. They decided to go in a different direction. We already told you about DeMarco Murray declining to work out with other people. 
But the Saints also, they did sign Terrence West. In the next segment, we'll get into Terrence West and see what his effect is, what we think Terrence West's effect would be versus Mark Ingram. Uh, just a second, DC. Trevor, uh, Trevor D- uh, Darling, a former uh, offensive lineman who come over from the Miami Hurricanes, he signed in this mini camp as well. Uh, he played 46 games as a Miami Hurricane. He played offensive uh, tackle and offensive guard for the Hurricanes. So that's a lot of uh, experience for a young guard, a young offensive lineman. So that's another addition to the uh, the offensive line as well. And, of course, the Saints did sign Josh Schmidt, a wide receiver from the Tennessee Volunteers, uh, bringing him aboard. He had 63 passes for six for 764 yards and five touchdowns in his time at Tennessee. And the Saints bring him aboard as well. Now, uh, DC, we got about 50 seconds before we go into our first break. What's your question, brother? Well, you wish to take on a DeMarco Murray situation. I love to hear a uh, professional analysis on that. I thought it was quite funny that he didn't want to work out with other running backs. I think the Mar- you know what you know we, we ain't got enough. Took about twenty five seconds, man. I'm gonna tell you everything that I feel about Mr. Demarco Murray. I'm gonna let it rip on the other side of the break. But yes, uh, when we come back on the other side of the break, fans, we're gonna talk about Demarco Murray. We're gonna talk about uh, also if Terrence West cuts it up in the first uh, four games of the season, is Mark Ingram in trouble? We'll go and we'll break down that and give some information as well. You're listening to the Sports Cobra. We'll be Q and the guys. Stay with us. 